Well, welcome. We're here at the Department of Public Works in Burlington, Chapin Spencer and Lee Perry. Thank you for joining us today. Thank Lauren you for having us. It's a pleasure to be here. Thanks. So we're going to talk a little trash. It's um, on the minds of some people, but I think in the next couple months it'll be on the minds of a lot more Burlingtonians, right? Absolutely. How we pick up uh, and collect our trash, recycling and organics, is uh, something that is a fractured system currently, and I think there's a lot of interest in, in having a more seamless system for our residents. So, Lee, the city of Burlington does collect recycling, but not trash. Why does the city right now, why are they in charge of recycling? Uh, we took on recycling back in the early 90s. Uh, initially, it was a bid process where we would bid against private contractors, and eventually we took the whole service over and have just continued doing it since. And then the question of having multiple commercial trash haulers has also been discussed at Public Works and the City Council for how long now, Chapin? There's been a number of studies about our current system, which is inefficient. We have four or so trash haulers, major trash haulers that are all circulating through the city. So a certain any residential street will have three or four different trash haulers on three or four different days. And what we want to do is look at how can we make it more efficient and have it so that customers in a particular neighborhood just know Mondays are the days that trash organics and recycling all get picked up and make it easy for the end user. So there's recently been a study conducted by the Department of Public Works or by a contractor. Tell us a little bit about the, how that started. Sure. Uh, and to more fully answer your last question is that there have been a number of studies about consolidated collection over the decades. In 2000, the City Council passed a resolution to have uh, the City and the Department of Public Works look at consolidated collection. The study was done, but it, uh, no action was taken by the city at that time. Then the Chittenden Solid Waste District, back in the uh, late 2000s, around 2007 or 2008, restarted a region-wide conversation on consolidated collection. That ended in around 2015 and didn't go anywhere. We, thanks to a council resolution in 2018, have restarted this evaluation. We did it with South Burlington and the Chittenden Solid Waste District, and we are uh, excited about the recommendations that came out of that study and are uh, here to talk more about it. And were those recommendations just for Burlington or included Burlington and South Burlington and the region? It included Burlington and South Burlington, but the dynamics of each town had you know, certain aspects of recommendations that would be specific to that town. But in general, it was a, a consolidated collection study for both towns. And, and you looked at um, a few options. The study includes, and just kind of recap the options, and then we'll talk about what you thought was the best one. Lee, do you want to do that? Sure. So the first option that we had done with our consultant was a, a franchised option, where on a franchise system, the municipality would contract with multiple haulers to pick up all three waste streams. Um, then we did a study directed by our Transportation, Energy and Utilities Committee to um, explore a municipal option where the city would collect all waste streams. Um, there was another option, a third option, where the city would bid against private contractors similar to the way we used to do recycling. And then we came up with our hybrid option where the city would continue to do recycling and then contract trash and food scraps out to a private hauler. So that third recommendation is the one that this study basically puts forward? Uh, we are recommending the hybrid option, which is the one where we would continue to operate the recycling program and that we would franchise with haulers uh, to do the trash and organics. And why didn't you recommend to go municipal, create a mu municipal infrastructure and take all of that work up in-house, so to speak? Right. I think if we step back and look at, the, the good news is that there seems to be a fair bit of consensus around the benefits of consolidated collection generally. That uh, regardless of which model, having four or five different uh, trash trucks and compost collection trucks going up and down streets on multiple days creates more wear and tear on the streets, more traffic, uh, and uh, more emissions. And so the good news is I think the community largely understands the benefits of consolidated collection. It certainly is the more common approach for how trash is collected around the country. 
than our uh, subscription-based model in Burlington. So that's good. The question of how best to, to implement consolidated collection is what the community is grappling with now. The benefits of a hybrid system as we are proposing, we get the same benefits environmentally of the lower truck traffic and the convenience to the consumer, same day pickup, with a number of advantages. Uh, one, less capital cost for the city up front. Uh, we would not need to buy uh, new trash trucks, uh, a new building, uh, and set up the same large kind of company that would need to be built. It's going to be over $6 million. We've got a new high school and a number of other financial burdens that the city is trying to achieve. Uh, it's also going to be easier to set up. It's going to take less time to do a hybrid option, building off our existing recycling program than to have to build a new business. Instead of what we project would be three to five years under a municipal setup, we can be launched, we believe, in two to three years. So it's cheaper, it is quicker, and it also takes less of our innovation capacity. It has less risk to the city. If we go with a full municipal option, we have to go to the voters for a number of things. Voters may approve or disapprove, but that takes time and adds risk. If we want to set up an enterprise fund to manage this new business in the city, that will need not only go to voters, but to the Vermont State Legislature, adding additional risk and time. We think the hybrid option is a great start. If the community over time wants to move to municipal, we can certainly do that. So the nice thing about the hybrid is it can work as a hybrid option or it could be a stepping stone to municipal in the future. So I'm not sure, Lee, if you're the best person to answer this, but what, have the, what are the haulers saying? What are you hearing from them? So we've, we've had a, a fair amount of public outreach with haulers, and there is concern um, amongst the haulers as far as, you know, if we implement a franchise system, how do we um, limit a monopolization of the system? You know, and we explained it can be broken down into districts and have only one hauler per district or maybe subcontract with other haulers to um, address that issue um, and and obviously the small haulers you know there's there's a, a few of those in the area especially the local compost haulers that you know we're going to be affecting their business by implementing the system but i think it's fair to say that the haulers generally uh, see more of a threat from the municipal operation because there would be no role for them at that point. The hybrid option that we're proposing continues our role uh, as, uh, co as collector of recycling, but still has a role for the trash companies and the, and the compost collectors in a more organized fashion. So why are uh, members of the City Council Commission, there was a group of three and two of them recommended um, going municipal. What are the advantages of a municipal system? Why do you think that's being put forward? Sure. Um, going back to the, the initial piece of the good news is uh, there's general consensus around consolidated collection. Uh, the DPW Commission did vote five to one in adva uh, advancing the hybrid option. The uh, City Council's Transportation, Energy and Utilities Committee did vote two to one for the uh, municipal option. Benefits that they saw was uh, more city jobs that would be union positions and greater control that the city would have more ability to uh, quickly change service levels or operations because we would be in direct control of that service. So I think the two major benefits that I'm hearing from the municipal proponents are that um, more, more union jobs and greater control. And less likely for the hauling franchise to be monopolized by one hauler also? Yes, I think that is something that they have articulated. Uh, you could also turn that around though and say that when you go municipal, uh, you, you have monopolized the system through a public option. Yes, the public does run it, um, but once we set up a municipal system, it is gonna be exceedingly hard to change that substantively because there's vested interest in keeping the union jobs, keeping uh, the system going. So if the market were to change or 
the, the, the model to, to need to, to evolve, it can be more difficult once the city's institutions are in place to substantively change that. So what's the time frame for the city council to make a decision on this? So we are going back to the council on the 9th of August um, for a recommendation. We have some questions um, that we have answers to to give them prior to that meeting. So maybe it'll help their decision. Um, and we'll find out then on, on what decision and then, you know, go through our six month of uh, community outreach to discuss service levels and really nail down, you know, what, what the public really wants out of an operation like this. So the city council is going to decide on whether to go municipal or hybrid on the 9th? There is uh, some discussion among the council about delaying that. Uh, so I just heard yesterday from members of the council, there may be some discussion uh, of delaying the, the decision. Uh, our hope is to bring the information and the answers to their questions on the 9th, uh, but they may request more time and that is their prerogative. I mean, it seems like, a. I mean, you've been in the thick of it obviously every day and the study has been going on but it's just really coming to the public attention now with the publishing of your study right right there have been public meetings and the study uh, from our consultant GBB has been out for about a year and a half now so there has been uh, significant public engagement but this when the rubber hits the road when the decisions need to get made is certainly when uh, people's attention gets heightened and uh, we're at that point now no, I, I imagine that might be a little challenging as a public worker trying to put forward initiatives because, again, you're involved in it and the study's a year old, but now it's like, oh, <laughs> hello, something's going to happen. Something's going to change. Yes. Yeah. So to wrap up, the city of Burlington is considering new options for the collection of recycling trash and compost. Right. City Council is going to take a look at the study and the work that DPW and the Transportation City Council Committee has been doing on the 9th of August. And decisions are going to be made fairly soon. And if people want to weigh in at this point, what should they do? They can contact um, myself at my email address, lperry at burlingtonvt.gov. They can go to the website where we have multiple um, items posted, the studies posted there, all the previous minutes of the meetings and, and all that information. And um, they need to attend, they need to voice their opinion and show up. You know, I thought the best part of the study were all the public comments at the end. I mean, it was it's fantastic to read because people do, they cover the waterfront of all the views. Absolutely. Uh, we have compiled all the public comments that received a date and put them uh, in the public packets for the counselors and the, uh, the wider public to review. Uh, ultimately, this is a decision for the community. How best do we want to collect our trash, try to reduce the amount of trash and increase the diversion of uh, recycling and organics? We want to be a sustainable community. That's been a long held priority of this city. How we collect trash, recycling organics now is a fractured inefficient system. Our hope is that the, through this process, we can do better. That's a beautiful ending, but I have one more question, which is the opt-in. I think one of the things about the public comments were people were concerned that they would be obliged. You know, for example, we pay 60 cents a week. We take our trash to the place. Are we going to have to pay $400 a year or whatever the equivalent cost is um, to participate in this? And there's a recommendation in that study about that, right? The study says that we should evaluate the opt-out uh, component of whatever model is selected. And one of the things we've been doing is reading the public input and hearing it. And we're hearing strong support from members of the public for an opt-out provision. Uh, a number of people such as yourself seem to self-haul and which is a cheaper way to do it if you have the time and ability. So. Um, it is very likely, unless we hear something dramatically different from the public, that we would be implementing a uh, opt-out scenario. The downside of an opt-out scenario is the fewer people in the system, the more expensive the system becomes for the remaining folks. So there's a trade-off, but we're working through that with the members of the public and the council. Well, I want to thank you both for your work, for keeping Burlington beautiful. Um, I think public works, it's almost invisible until things don't work. <laughs>
but actually things are working pretty much most of the time in terms of water quality, street quality, um, trash hauling, I mean, all of it. So I just want to commend you because I know you've been working really hard to make that happen. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. Yep. All right. Well, it's been a pleasure, Lauren Glenn. I uh, do want to encourage the public, anybody who's interested in the issue of Consolidated Collection, to look at our website, reach out, send us an email, come to the upcoming meetings. We want to hear from you. Thanks so much.